friends, I'm Sir Nitty Dawn, and this is the story. Today is August 23rd, and that means it's Wednesday! And because it's Wednesday, it's Top 5 Wednesday! And today's subject is books from before you joined, whether that's the online book community, um, Goodreads, or BookTube. Obviously for me, it's BookTube, and I guess Goodreads, although I discovered those around the same time, so, you know. For my purposes today, I chose books that I haven't mentioned more than maybe once, if at all, since joining BookTube, so they're going to be fairly obscure books. Um, I haven't come across a whole lot of people who are very well acquainted with some of these books that I'm going to mention. A couple of them you probably have heard of, I hope, but you, I know I know most of them are going to be more obscure, so that's okay. Come on this journey with me! For book number five, I chose The Happy Hollisters by Jerry... I cannot remember his last name, so it's right here. My favorite book was the Secret of the Lucky Coins. That one always stood out to me in that series. There were very odd reasons, which I'm not going to list, but I liked that book especially. Um, it is the era of the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew and the Bobsy Twins. Um, even though I never read Nancy Drew of the Bobsy Twins, I really enjoyed the Happy Hollisters. They were a family, a mom, dad, siblings, dog, their cat, and each book was a different mystery, and they were just a lot of fun. The, I would especially recommend them if you like the mystery genre, like serial mysteries, and, ha, you know, they're especially wonderful for the elementary and middle grade levels. So, those were awesome books. Coming in at number four is... A book by Lorreen McDaniel. <laughs> it's backwards, y'all. This is the only one that I have that I own by her. But this isn't my favorite story that I read by her. There were a lot of them. Like, this isn't even all of them. Look at that, y'all. A lot of them have die or dying or death in the title somewhere. So that ought to give you kind of a hint about the type of stories they were. They were kind of sad. Like, really sad. I think, my, if I'm remembering correctly, because the titles are similar, if I'm remembering correctly, Time to Let Go was my favorite. Um, if if I remember correctly, it was about a candy striper and the loss that she'd experienced and basically the healing that takes place and her helping somebody else and this person helping her. It was just, it was a lovely journey. And I really enjoyed that one. So, I'm pretty sure that was the right title. <laughs> it's time to let go. But the Lorreen McDaniel novels were, like, I went through all the books in my library growing up that, in my teen years, that they had. So, yes, they were awesome. Coming in at number three is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader by C.S. Lewis. It is a book in the Chronicles of Narnia series. And in it we have some of our, some of the characters in which we've seen in multiple other books. Some new characters. And I just... I liked a lot of the lessons and the little the gems of wisdom in this book and the the storytelling in this book especially was just gorgeous. It was masterfully crafted and I loved it. I loved it so much. So, yes, that without giving anything away off the top of my head is why I loved it so much. Coming in at number two. 
Number two, I think would have to be A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. This is the first book that I truly remember staying up past midnight reading. <laughs> like, I remember reading this after I was supposed to be in bed, asleep, and like, I'd been told to turn out the light and all that, and I did, but then I had a flashlight underneath my covers, you know, trying to finish reading this story because I was almost done kind of thing, and I just, <gasps> oh my word, so many feels, y'all. The, the journey we go on in this story is beautiful and heartbreaking. And this, in my opinion, is his best work. Nothing else that he has written has captured me like this one has. It was, it's just, it's phenomenal. If you, if you like romance at all, or his novels, and you haven't read this one, I highly highly recommend it. It is it is a beautiful beautiful story. It's a great coming of age story. This one is actually clean. There's not a bunch of junk in it like a few of his other novels have had. Um so yeah. Would recommend it. Clearly. <laughs> coming in at number 1. My favorite favorite book um, from before I even knew there were really like review avenues, blogs, anything of that nature was from the Forbidden Door series and it was book four and it was called The Haunting. Oh my word. It was amazing. Now, I will say, have this caveat, it is in a series, and I feel like if you read the other books, you get to know the characters and the town and all that better, and so, you know, it makes it that much better, but it's like a 12-book series. But anyway, book number four, to this day, even now that I've read the others, is still my favorite, and I've read it, I don't even know, I've lost track, but it was awesome. It's about, I mean, like, there's haunting in a haunted house and ghosts and all that kind of, I mean, it was just, it was awesome. It was, I think, my first real supernatural book, and it will always be special to me for that and also for the subject matter and the way that it is dealt with and handled. I just loved it. It's awesome. I would highly recommend, I highly recommend that series. It is a little dated because, I'm like, there's IMing and stuff, and, you know, we don't really do that anymore, you know. But at the time, it was, like, the thing. It was up and coming, even. It wasn't even the biggest thing. It was just kind of getting to that point. Wow, I just aged myself. <laughs> but anyway, it's it was, it was one of my favorites. So that's my top five for this Wednesday. The five books from before I joined... That is so very true because five books from before I had ever joined any type of bookish group. No book clubs or... The only thing I'd ever joined at that point was a summer reading program. <laughs> so <laughs> that most definitely covers that for this topic. It was a lot of fun. It really made me think more than I think any of the others have, especially since I decided to to go with books that I haven't really seen discussed or talked about on booktube. Have you read any of these books? I'm really curious. I'd really like to know if anybody has read any of the books that I've talked about today. Um, and if not, what book would you say is one of your favorites from before you joined booktube, goodreads, had a blog, any of that? Let me know in the comments down below. And if it was part of a series, which book particularly was your favorite? 
Anyway, I hope that you're having a wonderful week, and I will talk with you soon. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and hit the subscribe button so that you will make sure to catch my other videos. I try to post twice a week on Wednesday, once on the weekends, and then sometimes I throw in an occasional bonus video. I will talk with you soon. Thanks for watching, and remember to enjoy the story. Thanks. Bye!